Hi, welcome back to ET Books. Today we're discussing a book that we're reading for my son's homeschool curriculum, Building Your Library, or BYL. We're, we are studying World War II right now, and the required reading for this is When My Name Was Kyoko by Linda Sue Park, also the author of A, Sh a Single Shard. Not sure if you heard of that one. I haven't, but having read this book, I will tell you that I want to also read her other book. So this is a story that is set in Korea during World War II. And what I like about um, this book is that they have Sun Hee and her brother Tai Yul, and they range from elementary to maybe high school. And that means this book can appeal to a lot of different readers of different ages, different levels, different different abilities, and different interests because it's written from Sun Hee's point of view and also Tai Yul's point of view. So what you get is a young girl's perspective as well as a probably teenager's perspective. And that makes this story really... Um, have really good dynamics. It shows their relationship within their family. It shows um, the, the cultural norms that they have. And it discusses how Japan, who was, was ruling Korea at the time, was pretty much wanting to um, squelch anything Korean. As the Japanese Empire, they wanted everything to be Japanese, and so Taiyu and, and Kyoko had to change their names. And it, it talks about the perspectives of, is this important? Does it matter? Why does so-and-so think it matters? I don't care, or I do care. And it goes into the sort of depth that you don't get from your typical World War II study. It also gives you information without getting gory and graphic. Now, I have to say so far, because we are on, we're, we're nearing the end of the book, so I don't know for sure it doesn't get gory, but based on how it's been, it doesn't. And the reason I'm doing my book review before we actually hit the end is because, one, I already know I like it, and I want to recommend it. It's really good. And two, it's a library book, and it is due back um, today. <laughs> so um, what we're doing is we are renewing it, and if that doesn't work, we're paying late fees because we will finish the book. And I don't want to keep it too much longer than, than our initial due date because I know there are others out there using the Build Your Library curriculum, and they are waiting on us also. I had to get this from Interlibrary Loan through Mobius. So it took a while to get here. Other people are waiting. So we're going to wrap it, wrap up this book as quickly as we can for them. Um, even if it means I have to speed a little through the Build Your Library curriculum on behalf of other people. But again, this is When My Name Was Kyoko, set in Korea in World War II by Linda Sue Park. Highly recommend it. It's one that I would add to my bookshelves. I always go to the library first, though. I, I really try and do that. Um, even if I've read reviews that say it's great, I try and start with the library copy and make sure that I'm one of those people that also thinks it's great. And is it worth putting on my shelf? And this is. If you have read this, let me know your thoughts on it. If you are familiar with other outstanding World War II books for, say, third through seventh grade, let me know. You might go further than seventh grade because Tai Yul is definitely older than that from what I gather. Um, it, the font is easy to read. It's still large. And so after seventh grade, some a, a child might feel like, eh, too old for this, but we use this as our read aloud, and it really, um, when he says, I don't understand 
why he feels that way about his father. It's a great talking point. Um, and of course, a great bonding time with your child, right? So please give me a thumbs up. Please share this video with the, the people in your life that are homeschoolers or readers or writers. And let me catch up to my kid's channel. Please, he has more subscribers than I do. Even though I've had a lot of views on some of, some of my videos, he has more subscribers. And I feel like as the mom, I should be a good example. And I'm just not in that way. <laughs> so share with your friends. Share with people that are studying World War II and or homeschooling. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And I look very much forward to your comments below. A vos resante.